everyone and welcome back to my channel shine star collections um, this is part three and four of my binder tour I actually recorded it before but I'm recording it again um, because the angles were off so um, I hope this is better it looks like to me that it is so let's go on ahead and start and this is binder number three. This is my most treasured binder. This is the 80s individual photo cards binder. So I have some, you know, my Sungwa collection and um, Yosan and Yunho and Jungho collections, as well as the other members. Um, and I have a special setup for Wu Yang, which I will show you in a second. And also what I realized is that in the other video, um, I didn't talk a lot about why I stand the ATs or the groups that I stand. And I also wanted to try to make it a little bit more uh, fun and interactive for viewers. So I hope I do a better job this time. So let me know some of the things you would like to know in the comments, like, um, uh, you know, why did you, why did you start collecting, uh, the groups you collect or why do you collect ATs and what made you stay in ATs this, and, um, also what are the groups, um, that you're interested in collecting or maybe not considering ATs is a lot by itself. So I guess what I'll start with is why did I decide to start collecting photo cards? Um, I have some personal information there, so that's why I have it taped. Um, oh, and also, this is my own little cover I made. Um, I'm not all that, uh, artistic, but I thought that I would make a cover just to kind of, um, distinguish, you know, what members part by members part. So, I made this little cover, The King is Back, is. King is one of my favorite songs. So I put my main four biases and I put Mr. Wu Young in the middle because if you'll be able to see the next clip, why I put in there, why I decided to collect him. So before I get back to my question, I'll explain what I did here. Um, I decided I wanted to collect Wu Young to uh, kind of make a pattern. Um, page of my nine pockets so what I did was is that I collected my top four and then I found a Wu Young that would match one of those top four on these pages so in this instance uh, Wu Young's card is matching with the with Moose set from Fever One so let's call it the Wu Young focus pages so what did I decide to start collecting photo cards um, pretty much because, um, I have always loved paper. That's part of it. Um, I am a Duran Duran fan, so I'm a little older than probably some people. And, um, when I was a teenager and even into my early 20s, I used to collect magazines, um, with some of my favorite, um, music groups like Duran Duran or Depeche Mode or whatever. And um, a lot of times I'd hang them up in my locker. I still have some of those pictures. I know, crazy. But, um, and even into my mid-20s, I was still collecting even fashion magazines. And so I've always loved, like, pretty glossy pictures and stuff. So, and like I said, paper. I love paper. So... It seemed appropriate for me to collect photo cards. Um, oh, and this is one of my favorite pages right here. This is the, um, I think it's K-pop store for these. And then this is Y Global. Both of these are from Fever 3. So this is one of my favorite pages right there. Um, and so again, I thought, why not just collect photo cards? Because... I love pretty pictures and, you know, I love ATs, so why not collect 
um, pretty photos of ATs. Um, and here is another one of my favorite sets. This is Awat from Fever 3. Um, I actually got these two from a Japanese seller. And these two came from an Indonesian seller. So, unfortunately, that's some, sometimes how it happens is that you find a card you really like and you have to send away to get it for a reasonable price. So, um, really love this card. This is my, my favorite Yosan cards. And you know how these look so cute there. So, And then, let's see, why did I decide to stay in the 80s? Um... I think the biggest reason why I decided to stay in ATs is because they make music for everybody. Um, I'm a rock and roll fan or heavy metal fan. I also love pop music and um, classical music. Um, I love, you know, R&B music, like a lot of different types. So if, in my mind, if you don't find one AT song that you like, then I'm not sure what's going on because you have to find something in their discography that you like and um they're just really talented great performers um not saying that other bands aren't because i will get into that in a second i do like other bands but ATs is just tops in my book because they fill all the boxes for me um and they're talented performers and they're really sweet and charismatic, and I love that about them. So, okay, there's my Wu Young focus pages. Um, that's probably the most expensive part of my Wu Young focus page. Uh, that Sunwa actually was part of a uh, a two set that I got from a seller overseas. It was pretty pricey, and I'll show you what the card it came with. And, um, William's car actually wasn't too expensive, so, um, you know, I'm happy that I got his car reasonable. So here it is. This is the start of my individual collections. So, Sunglass in the middle, because I have a shine star. And I have the other four here. Um, oh, and then, what I did was, is that for each divider... I use the Digipack solo posters for the uh, dividers because this is what I used to have right here. Just print out my favorite picture of whatever member it was. So there is Deja Vu Sunwa. That's my, my favorite. So anyway, oh, and there's the other card right there that belongs with that set. Um, because it came from overseas and because of um the uh, transfer or excuse me the exchange <laughs> it ended up being a lot more pricier than what i wanted to pay for it but it's here now so it's fine and um, these two also kind of pricey but those are the mmt's so you know those are we're going to be pricey anyway but i had every intention on getting those um so they are between these three and that other one, the most expensive cards in my collection are those four. This one, actually, I found reasonably. So, surprisingly, this one and this one. I didn't pay too much for those. So, anyway, this is my Sunwa collection. He is my favorite. Um, maybe I could say why I started collecting Sunwa. Um, I mentioned that I'm a Duran Duran fan. And... Sunwa just kind of reminds me of um, my one of my favorite Duran Duran members, and it's John Taylor. He gets like his he's tall, he's statuesque, and um, he um, the way he sings, the way he dances. John doesn't dance, but you know, it's just his his aura about him is something different that I enjoy and um besides the fact that he's absolutely gorgeous and um he also is uh not afraid to express himself on stage and he just has this like I said this aura about him kind of a model quality and I love that about Sunwa um so that's why I collect Sunwa first so let's see and then here's Long hair, Sunwa, my favorite. And here's pink 
and Red Haired Sungwa, another one of my favorite pages. So, let me get back to why or what are the groups I stand. Um, I stand Elast. Uh, I think I mentioned in my last video, or maybe I didn't, um, that Elast is my only other collection that I kind of keep up with. Um, I also stand Victon, One Us, uh, Monster X, The Boys, DKB, and Kingdom, and Very Very. I think I named everybody. That's a lot. But like I said, I only collect for ATs and Elast, so... Um, I do keep my pulls for the other bands, but I don't actively collect them. So here's that. There's some of my latest Sunwa cards. I have a ton of Sunwa's cards coming um, because I joined some fixed member goes and I'm still waiting on those cards to come. And, you know, because ATs keeps dropping sets, I have some more Sunwa cards coming, so... Um, also about that card, um, that card I actually just got recently. Um, this card is going for anywhere between, um, 60, 70, a hundred dollars for that card. I actually got that card for 35, so I thought that was pretty good. Let's see. And there's some of his Japanese cards. And here goes my buddy, Yosan. Oh, I really love my Yosan collection. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, um, he's kind of easy to collect. Um, I really just, you know, enjoy Yosan for so many reasons. Um, he's such a hard worker. Not saying everybody else isn't, but he just seems to work ten times as hard, I guess, to be noticed in a band full of aces. And, um, so I just decided to collect Yosan because his cards are gorgeous and, you know, it's, when they're easy to collect, they kind of make it easier for a collector. But guys, come on, start collecting Yosan, please. It's, it's a joy. Anyway, so, yeah, those are the other bands I stand and, um... I really enjoy collecting a lot because um, part of collecting is the thrill of the chase, I guess. Um, when you see a full nine pocket page that's full of um, your favorite member or, you know, just your favorite bands, period. Um, it's just enjoyable to see every pocket filled and to see um, all the pictures pop on the page see, like that. That's actually one of my favorite, another one of my favorite pages. Every page is my favorite page, but I really love Mint Hair Yosan. So, there's that. And then, so here's some of the cards. I also claimed Yosan um, and some goes. So his cards are already here. But again, like I said, I'm still waiting on Sun Wa because Sun Wa is coming from overseas. So there's those. And um, with the Japanese cards, I don't really collect every Japanese card. I just kind of like pick the ones I like. So these are some of my favorites that I could get my, um, that I could get reasonably. So that's the reason why I have those. And here's Yunho. And you might notice that card stand out. That card is actually the Japanese version of the MMT and I am fully okay with having the Japanese version and not the Korean version because it was I won't say it was cheaper well it was cheaper than the Korean version but it was not cheap let's put it that way <laughs> so but I love my email page and I love my email this is another reason why I redid this video is because I wanted to put together my burgundy hair you know page. I missed this hairdo on this guy. And so this is kind of like, you know, saying, hey, you know, I love this hairdo on you. And I love his new hairdo too, but I really 
love the burgundy in Yunho's hair. And love the blonde also. He's just the cutest. He's just so adorable. And another member that is severely overlooked in my eyes because he he's a fantastic dancer and vocalist. And I don't think a lot of Aitini appreciate him as they should. Um, I think he needs more love, honestly. And there we go. There's some of my Japanese cards. And here goes the birthday boy. Chong Ho. Um, I'm actually filming this uh, day before his birthday, so happy birthday to him. And here's my picture, fair picture of him. And uh, this card, this card was actually, I looked for this card for a long, long time. And finally found it from a seller from uh, South America, like someplace, I think it was Chile, I found that car, which is crazy, but that's where it was. I don't collect everything for Jung Ho, but it's just cards that I particularly like and enjoy that I'll collect for him. Like, there's another, I guess, hairdo page. I put this together, too. I put Yoon Ho's together. I did all his red hair together. Um... And there's another favorite. A lot of my favorite jungle cards are in the front. But um, I absolutely adore this kid. Mr. Makne. And I did claim him in some goes. So I um, have an empty space for him because they're coming. Some of them coming with Sungwa. And some of my Japanese cards. But I also put... This card here, this is his card. Um, I want to say that was, I don't remember which one that was. <laughs> um, I know it's from Fever 2. That, that I do know. So it's a duet card. I can't figure out the name. When I remember the name, I'll put it in there. And there's the last of my cards. I really adore that Seasons Green card up there. Um, that's one of my favorites. So here's my Wuyo. I Wuyo collection is actually not really complete. Um, I mean, I have a lot of them up in the front. But um, what I want to do for the other members that I don't primarily com collect is just start finding like three cards per era if I could. And putting them together on each nine pocket. Um, I'm going to go back and see if I can find some, you know inexpensive cards to fill in um even for Wu Yang even though like I said I have a good amount of his cards in the front but um I wanted more cards to fill in Wu Yang there um anything else I didn't cover uh pretty much I think that's it um just add your comments also about what you would like to collect going forward um oh Maybe I should say my plans. Well, that was one of my plans. To go on and continue to uh, find cards for the members I don't really collect as much. Um, just so I could continue to fill up pockets. I did a pretty nice job here for Hanjun. Um, but you'll see when I get to Mingi and San, I still have a ways to go. Hanjun, I, I think I did okay with Hanjun. Some faces that um that I probably wish that I would have had more cards in but uh for right now I'm doing okay so this is who I have to work on is Mr. Mingi and San are the cards I would like to work on going forward since I'm pretty much done collecting on the world album cards or I am done um, I want to go back and start trying to collect more cards from past eras. Maybe three POBs per era to fill up a nine pocket. Uh, as you see, I, I have his Japanese card there. I actually got his Japanese card in a, in a haul. Japanese call. And so I was able to find it um, particularly reasonable. Um, but I don't have enough cards per era so I, I only have 
this one for fever one these are from fever three and these are from epilogue so i would like to find some more cards for him and then i have a japanese set here i actually was able to get that those the japanese cards they came as one set which was really nice they came with um the beyond zero album and um and it came with that and a bromide and it was really really inexpensive and it was great and i have some cards from the new era here so this is guy I really have to work on right here because this is the extent of my song collection. So I, well, as you know, if you are a collector or if you're a person that likes to look at collection videos, you know Son is pretty hard to collect. He's usually the first one to go in a go order. Um, so a lot of the times I'm not able to catch him, but, um... I want to go back and see if I can find more cards because this this is it. This is all I have for Son. I don't even have a back part for Son. <laughs> so I really would love to go back and find more Son cards um, so I can fill up this nine pocket. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of sad, but you know, We'll get there. I mean, there's a couple I have here that are doubles. Like, these two are doubles. I actually found this one for $10. Somebody was selling it, so I, I picked it up, even though I still have the set. And then the same thing for this one. I think I picked that up for, like, $10, $12 or something. So, there we go with that. And that is it for this binder. Um, so, yeah. Explain and tell me what other collections you're into. Um, I do plan on going through my Elast collection and even through my binder that has all of my pulls from my other bands. But I mostly pay attention to this collection um, because it's my pride and joy and ATs is my alt. So I pay most of my attention to this one. So, I'm going to move next to my other binder, which is my uh, Japanese and larger inclusions binder. Let's leave it on my page, one of my favorite pages here, to end this, at least this part. So kind of down below what you would like to do with your own collections. And if you are looking forward to starting a collection, um, what, what band are you collecting? Even if it's not AT, it's just say what band you're collecting. So there's that. That's my favorite page. And let's just go on and move on to my bigger inclusions and Japanese merch binder. Hello, hello everyone. And welcome to part four of my... AT's binder tour. Um, as you can see, this is the AT's and Japan uh, merch binder. It's also for like the fan kit and merch um, items. Um, this binder might be a little bit in disarray because I'm still deciding how I want to store things, but um, this is where we're going for right now. So I just Go through and show you some of the things I have. And um, this is not everything, but um, this is most of what I have um, for right now. Is I have a bigger binder that has some more larger inclusions, but this is what I fit in this one. So, there we go. So this is how I have them stored for right now. Some of the um, bromides or pictures that I got. Um, these are from Fever One. And then that other picture was from, I believe, the first fan kit. Um, these are from the A to Z Japanese comeback. Try to keep some of it in order, but otherwise I really didn't. Um, because I just ran out of space and I'm trying to like maximize all the space I have for like some of these two and three pockets. 
have these. Um, I just went nuts over the A to Z stuff. It was actually my first real Japan comeback. So I just started, I spent a lot of money on these. <laughs> Because I, you know, just joined to go and just wanted everything. So a lot of the things from the A to Z comeback I got. And then there's more of it there. These are like some of the signed bromides. I only have Sungwon, you know, I think. Oh, and Jungho. Um, see, Han Jun's is not signed. This is a double here because one of them came from Germany. And the other one um, came from the UK, I believe. I don't know how you have sounds yet. I bought so much that I don't remember exactly what I bought. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. Um, and this is from Dreamers, I believe. The Dreamers Vacation merch that I got. Um... Go manager was saying that um, everybody else was claimed. So I claimed someone and I claimed these three too. And it's not that I didn't want them, but she was like, well, she actually gave them to me because I claimed, I wanted to claim, I think I wanted to claim these two. And so I claimed these two as well. So she gave them to me without charging me, which was really nice. So there's those. And then some of these I know I got from off oh, Mercari Japan. Um, these I got from a seller here, I remember. Um, they actually came damaged, and I don't really appreciate that. But I'm trying to keep them. Oh, they actually came bent, which is not cool. So here's some of my Beyond Zero merch. And. I have, you know, Yoon Ho, and then Jung Ho, Mingi, Han Joon, um, Sung Wa, that from a seller here, I believe. I said, I don't really collect everything for the Japanese merch, but if I find it, like some of the other fam on Mercari, I think somebody on Mercari was selling, regular Mercari, were selling these um, at a decent price. So I was able to get all four of these together for Yosan. Um, but, you know, I just collect what I can. I don't try to get everything for um, the Japanese things. See, I have a double here. so And I have a file folder here. I bought that on a whim. <laughs> and these came from, of course, the sound check thing. Or, sorry. These actually came from as part of concert merch. So I have these in um, two pockets. So I have them back to back another impulse buy so i know that when you go to the concert uh, in november you're probably going to see a lot of this merchandise that you're going to want to buy and you'll probably end up buying it because oh it has atis's face on it so i gotta have it that's pretty much what i do is anything with their faces on it i have to buy it and here is this was our first merch set from the online concert so I have them stored like that I don't like having them upside down but it's kind of the only way I could store them and protect them was having them in this plastic and here's from extended edition this is from last year so I have them here this is how they get us by the way they give us all the gorgeous pictures and we just fall apart and buy it all this is how we go into debt right here friends <laughs> that's right here so i have all these and then here is from the fan kit um this was the best way i thought i could store this um so I just, I don't think you can punch this out. And I just left them in there. So, And um, I would like to fix this. Kind of like what I said about the other binder. 
I'm going to store them by themselves. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the ID pictures. But um, this is how I'm storing them right now. So I will fix them. So there's those. That's from fan kit number two. I think, yeah. Yeah, the fan kit number two. And then here's the bigger pictures. I love this one. That was Mingi's um, first uh, official um, comeback pictures until we got Diary, right? So we have all these extra pictures. That is like my favorite picture. It looks like a family photo. It's really cute. And this one also. Um, and here is from a teeny kit three. Um, this is the pictures. These are the single pictures. So I just put them in plastic to preserve them. They do spoil us with the pictures. I will say that much. Um, they know that we love pictures of the guys. So everything is a photo book, a DVD, um, a picture set, um, photo cards. They know we're going to buy them. So KQ, you're not slick. I get it. So there's that. And here's the poster. I did not put the poster up. I decided to just keep it in plastic with the thing here. And then have these here. Um, I wanted to store these a little better, but I figured since this is like a three pocket, um, I just left them like this. And then... These things, these things are impossible to store. I know these are like a, you know, they're supposed to be like a, a I don't know, a banner thing that you will hold, hang up. But I have no room to hang it up in my office, so I just keep them in here. And um, because they're stored in a two pocket um, with the string, because I didn't want to throw away the string, um, it's kind of goofy, so I apologize for that. <laughs> And then, so see, it's like all crazy. And then the uh, stickers. I didn't use the stickers. I love these stickers, but I didn't want to use them, so I just left them in there. So. And then the last thing I have is the photos from the DVD. I wasn't going to buy the DVD, um, but <sighs> the... Uh, pictures which, which I don't have in here and then these photos are what sold me I was again KQ was like yeah you know you have to have pictures so please you know you want to buy them just you know just buy them <laughs> so here they are in here and I just have them stored like this back to back so so there's that so I have I have some other stuff but I dust in there sorry I decided just to um put this in here I actually also ran out of uh two pocket pages so that's the reason why I just have those in there like that so I think I lost one of my letters on here oh no I didn't okay all right so there's that binder hope you enjoyed that um so that's how I have everything stored um, those are my main four binders. Um, I think I was supposed to come up with another tip for new collectors. Um, my tip for new collectors as far as with uh, Japanese merch and fan kits and all those things. Um, don't try to buy everything. And if you do want to buy a lot of their stuff. Um, try to look for it on, like, say, Macari Japan and, um, or even sellers on IG might sell it for cheaper than you might get from, like, say, K-Town or, well, not to K-Town, um, Sub K or, you know, one of the third-party sellers. Try to see if you can get it from, like, Macari Japan or something. Some of the things that I got, I actually got the DVD for... $30 secondhand. So sometimes secondhand works out. 
um, because as far as I know, I think we all take pretty good care of our AT's merchandise. So you might be able to find it a little bit less expensive if you just wait a little bit and not buy it firsthand. But if you're impulsive like me, you're going to end up spending money. So there's that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, my next video will probably be a unboxing and a uh, Japanese haul. I'm actually expecting the items today. So if they do come today as they said they would, I will probably put up a video um, shortly after I upload this video showing that um, haul and also showing the unboxings for kingdom and for one us because that's what's in that um, particular order so yes thank you very much for joining me and i hope you enjoyed these videos so, so far um thanks also to my first two subscribers that's pretty exciting um but make sure that you like share and comment on the videos and i will see you soon bye